6 a.m. early, we had breakfast that morning at 5 or something like that, I think. And so we get out and to the grills where we're going to work, and CJ, the boss man, spreads us out the way we're going, and then what we do is we get on our horses and we trot out to the back side of the pasture and then spread out along that back fence, you know, and however many people you got, you just spread out that far, and then you just start kind of easing towards the house, and that way you get around everything and just start going towards the corrals with them. And we do it early because the calves are still with their moms. If you wait later in the day, after the calves have had a chance to suck, get their breakfast from mama, then they'll lay down. And mama will go off grazing and the calf will be laid under a mosquito bush somewhere just <laughs> having a good. So if you wait too late, you risk miss, missing a bunch of calves because they'll be laid up for the day. So then we got them in the corral here, and that's when we started sorting the cows from the calves. Uh, as we brand, actually, as we start branding the calves, we don't want the cows in there messing with us. They're, you know, they're protective of their babies, so they're going to come. Whenever we're trying to brand them, that cow's going to be right in our business, saying, "I don't think so," <laughs> trying to, to keep you from it. So we sort those off as a kind of a safety thing, and it keeps the calves. They'll be at the back side of that branding pen because the cows are right there on the other side and it keeps all the calves from running through our fire and people, where people are standing and everything else. So that's what we're doing here. Tail, so they've got an earmark in the left ear. They've already been branded, vaccinated during the fall. Okay. So we had to strip them off. And then all these is what we got all brand. Okay. And then the cows, all that stuff we sprayed on them, that's like an insecticide. Kills all the bad stuff. Flies, worms, lice, ticks. Not, that's if it rains, you get those, you know. It's okay. dry for fleas and ticks. But So that's why we poured all them and put them out there. And everybody that's here, so I don't pay any of these guys. So they come help me and I go help them. They sure. all got ranches around here. We were wondering that. How do you decide when you go to whose ranch? So they, we've just all got, they're in my house. There's a big old uh, kind of like a dry race board. And then everybody just usually calls, you know, at least a week out. Okay. Usually seven to 10 days, sometimes longer. And they say, hey, can you come help me this day? And they kind of say what they need. Okay. And then they all show up. And then so here, and then so like. So these are my cows, so all the guys that'll get to rope, so like me or Kenny or any of us, we won't get to rope because these are our cows. All the neighbors, they'll get to rope and drag the calves. Okay. So that's the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just give everybody a job accordingly. Usually the older the guys, you try to give them the easier jobs. 
because they've kind of earned that. Sure. You know? sure. The younger guys, they'll be flanking, and the older guys get the easier job, so it's easier on them. Okay. How often do you do this? So, usually in the fall and in the spring, so twice a year. Okay. A matter of five, six months, something like that. But hey, you're doing it a lot since all of these guys need help. I mean, right. Oh, yes, yes, I'm yeah. sorry. So, no, yeah. That was the answer I wanted, was twice a year. But. It is, and then, so, like, my gosh, during, like, March, April, and May, three, four days a week helping somebody. Wow. So, like I said, get up, get up about like you did this morning, and, you know, try to get everybody done by noon, 1 o'clock, and then we still have to come back to home ranches and take care of our stuff. So. Well, that was actually, Veronica had a question, like, what do you guys do after this? Because you have lunch and... And then all the, since all these guys aren't paid, so, you know, like, we'll have lunch and we'll send them on. And then I've got some, there's two cattle trucks, mine and another one. Like these kids and some other ones, I've got some stuff that needs to be hauled to the market. Okay. And we'll do that this afternoon. But so you don't, you don't just get a break. Right. <laughs> yeah, then you go back, then you go back to your own ranches and go check water to feed your own cows. Sure. The actual branding is you want to get it done, you know, when they're smaller, they're easier to handle, uh, and you want to get that brand on them sooner than later for established ownership. Um, and there's other considerations like the vaccines that we give uh, are more effective. Yeah, they're most effective whenever a calf is two months and older. jobs that need to be done is there are on each side there's two flankers there will be a dragger for each side uh, and then you'll have somebody that brands somebody that earmarks somebody that dehorns and vaccinates so the vaccines that we give i mean they are they're most effective if they're intramuscular which is in the muscle or uh, subcutaneous which is in the skin, just right under the skin. And so the best places to give it is in the neck right there or in the armpit. And you usually want to kind of give them the two vaccines a little bit further apart. So I like to give one in the neck and one in the armpit so they're not mixing with each other because if you give them right on top of each other, they'll kind of mix and they'll lose their effect. And at this ranch, there were some calves, bigger calves that were already branded, and uh, we weaned those to sell. So they went to market later that day, the ones that were already branded. 